Somewhere behind the scenes, a random comment made by an ESPN anchor would start a big fight. Rachel Nichols got a lot of attention from the media when she said she was sorry for suggesting that a black collie got chances because of her skin color. ESPN, which has done some shady things in the past, got a lot of bad press. As the dust cleared, a web of lies started to come apart. Were the words that got out only part of the story? What did ESPN want to do with the tape leaks? Today, we take a trip down memory lane and discover what happened to Rachel Nichols, why ESPN set up the attack, and what else is happening behind the scenes. Rachel Nichols always loved sports growing up in Potomac, Maryland. After she graduated from Winston Churchill High School in 1991, she went to Northwestern University's Middle School of Journalism to pursue her love of writing. While there, she worked as an intern for well-known publications like the Washington Post, where she caught the eye of well-known sports columnist Michael Wilbon, who saw her promise and praised her for being so sure of herself. During the Chicago Bulls' three-peat championship run, she honed her skills by writing about their practices as a freelancer, which impressed Michael Jordan. These events helped her become the skilled sports reporter she is now, but her journey was just starting. Rachel Nichols began her career as a Fort Lauderdale Sun Sentinel sports writer, covering the University of Miami football team and the Miami Dolphins. Her dedication and talent caught the attention of the Washington Post, where she spent nine years writing about various sports and establishing herself as a respected writer. In 2004, ESPN recognized her potential and hired her as a broadcaster, which made Nichols ecstatic. She became a familiar face on ESPN Sports Center and Countdown shows and served as a field reporter for Monday Night Football and NBA broadcasts. Despite facing challenges and betrayals at ESPN, Nichols remained determined and successful in her roles. After making a name for herself at ESPN, she embarked on a new venture by hosting her show Unguarded with Rachel Nichols on CNN Turner Sports. Her insightful interviews with prominent sports figures earned her praise and further solidified her position in the sports media industry. Eventually, Nichols returned to ESPN, where she became a part of The Jump and conducted sensitive and engaging sit-down interviews. Throughout her career, Nichols maintained a professional and non-confrontational demeanor that contributed to her positive image in the sports media world. The year 2020 brought unprecedented challenges, with the NBA resorting to playing games in a bubble at Disney World due to the pandemic. During this time, the tragic death of George Floyd sparked nationwide protests for racial equality, putting immense pressure on ESPN to prioritize diversity in its broadcasting roles. Rachel Nichols found herself in a difficult position as she was initially set to host the NBA Finals, but ESPN's owners decided against it after a New York Times story emerged. Instead, Maria Taylor was chosen to take on the role, leaving Nichols feeling unfairly treated especially considering her decades-long experience in sports media. ESPN's handling of these controversial events, along with racial tensions, have subjected the network to heightened scrutiny. It highlights the challenges of promoting diversity while maintaining a professional attitude in the competitive sports broadcasting industry. The incident shed light on the complexities of navigating racial dynamics within media organizations and the importance of addressing issues of representation and fairness in the workplace. Maria Taylor's journey as a reporter Shockingly, an audio leak from the year prior surfaced, and accusations of her making racist remarks about her colleague Maria Taylor began to swirl. However, upon careful examination of the tape, it became evident that Nichols' words had been ripped out of context. To address the situation head-on, ESPN initiated a thorough investigation, which ultimately revealed no evidence of any wrongdoing that warranted disciplinary action. Despite the network's findings, the public reaction was swift and harsh, leaving Nichols in a challenging position. Seeking to quell the escalating tensions and misunderstandings, she promptly apologized, expressing regret for any hurt caused, particularly towards Maria Taylor. Despite her sincere remorse, ESPN made the difficult decision to replace Nichols as an NBA Finals reporter. This episode was a stark reminder of how the media can sometimes perpetuate false narratives, inflicting severe damage on careers and reputations. The incident highlighted the need for cautious and responsible reporting as hastily spreading unverified information can significantly affect the individuals involved. Nichols' unfortunate experience underscored the importance of context and accurate portrayal in media coverage, urging us to be more discerning news consumers. The situation for Rachel Nichols took an even darker turn when it came to light that ESPN had secretly gained access to media workers' phones, enabling them to eavesdrop on private conversations. Unbeknownst to Nichols, an ESPN employee had secretly listened to and recorded her conversations for almost a year. This discovery raised serious concerns about ESPN's intentions. 
as they had orchestrated a scheme to tarnish her image. By leaking the audio to the press just days before the 2021 NBA Finals and during Maria Taylor's contract negotiations, the network strategically shifted attention away from any heated discussions involving Taylor and placed a spotlight squarely on Nichols, painting her as a racist and inflicting significant damage to her career. Against the backdrop of this controversy, Maria Taylor's contract negotiations have been an ongoing point of contention since 2020. Rejecting the substantial $5 million offer from ESPN, Taylor boldly demanded an $8 million salary, citing her worth compared to high-profile figures like Stephen A. Smith. However, this demand seemed influenced by a misguided interpretation of modern feminism and a perceived victim mentality. It was evident that Taylor's request overlooked that Rachel Nichols, with double the journalistic experience and a higher profile, was earning a significantly lower salary of $1.5 million. ESPN's initial offer to Taylor seemed to cater to the feminist agenda, despite her not objectively deserving such a lofty salary. As early as 2021, internal tensions within ESPN escalated as the network hesitated to meet Taylor's original $5 million contract offer subsequently reducing it to a range between two to three million dollars. This sparked further conflict within the organization. Around this time, ESPN reportedly collaborated with the New York Times to leak Rachel Nichols' audio recording, skillfully diverting attention from the contentious contract negotiations. In response to the leaked audio, Taylor took a strong stance, addressing the wage gap and women's challenges in obtaining promotions. The entire affair underscored the complex dynamics of gender and pay equality in the media industry, revealing the need for transparency and fairness in salary negotiations and highlighting the potential consequences of media manipulation. Maria Taylor decided to part ways with ESPN and join CBS Sports, securing a lucrative $5 million contract. However, amidst the aftermath, a web of false narratives circulated unjustly pointing the blame at Rachel Nichols' alleged racist comments as the reason behind Taylor's departure. In reality, the truth was in ESPN's reluctance to meet Taylor's unreasonable salary demands, fearing potential accusations of racism if they failed to comply. To safeguard their interests and control the narrative, ESPN strategically used Nichols as a scapegoat, skillfully diverting attention away from the contentious contract negotiations. This calculated maneuver showcased the lengths to which media organizations would go to to protect their reputation and avoid public backlash. Maria Taylor, who had dedicated an impressive 25 years to the network, understandably felt used and betrayed by ESPN's unethical tactics. The fallout from these actions led to Nichols' dismissal from the network, and she subsequently found a new home at Showtime in September of 2022. The situation underscored the potential consequences of misleading narratives put out by mainstream media, as reputations were damaged and falsehoods spread like wildfire. ESPN's questionable actions and their subsequent scrutiny have even prompted discussions about the network's future, with Disney contemplating selling major equity in the once revered sports network. As uncertainties loom, the incident serves as a cautionary tale of how media manipulations can have far-reaching effects impacting individuals' careers and the reputation of established media entities. Rachel Nichols' bad experience shows that the sports media business needs responsible reporting and openness in scandals and media manipulations. The incident is a reminder of how damaging false stories can be to jobs and reputations, and it shows how complicated diversity and representation in the workplace can be. As the dust settles, learning from these events making the sports media environment more fair and accountable is important. So that's all for today's video. If you liked the video, click the like button. We'll have another video for you soon. Take care until then.